These are short stories written by Warren M. Rice and narrated by David A. Nickerson. I kept thinking about what was in that room. Would it get me? Could it kill me? Then the crying sound started again. The lights were off in Chad's house, so I knew he had gone to bed. The sounds continued and drew me to the forbidden door. It sounded pitiful. I had to help. I opened the door, turned on the light, and there it was, looking straight at me, a twelve-foot gorilla in a cage. He put his hand through the bars, as if to say, Touch me, please. There was a sad look in his eyes. Was he lonely or sick, I wondered? I reminded myself of Chad's orders. Do not touch it, he had said. I had to try to comfort him so he'd quiet down and I could get some sleep. I reached out my hand and touched his. He then let out a long, growling sound and began to bend and break the bars of the cage. This is not what I had expected to happen. I turned out the lights and shut the door, hoping to keep him in the room. However, I did not want to stay around to see if he would stay. I dashed out the door and ran as fast as possible, hoping to hide in the nearby cornfield. He was following me, and I could hear his growls growing louder and louder. It was too dark to see, but I knew he was gaining on me, and suddenly I tripped and fell. When I picked myself up, I could see in the moonlight a massive creature hovering over me. Was this the end? Would he kill me? I sat down with my head between my hands, hoping that he would spare me. I could feel his breath. You've been listening to short stories written by Warren M. Rice. This is narrator David A. Nickerson. Thanks for listening. Short Stories is copyrighted in 2012 by Warren M. Rice. Production copyright 2018 by Warren M. Rice.